Hey yo, what's up? You know what it is. It's the one and only Triple the G-O-D. Welcome back to Run That Rex, everybody. In today's episode, we find ourselves at a weird crossroad. Because we're playing the hack and, you know, and my plan to, you know, only make one return to a Maverick stage is that at this point, I am, I have a couple of options because of the weapons I have at my disposal what I can do to get everything else I need to collect everything else before my one return and things like that. So I had to sit and actually take some thought and figure out what exactly I wanted to do. But my, the plan that I have decided on makes a lot of sense and then on top of that is that when I fight that certain maverick or those mavericks in question actually is that I won't be leaving them, just leaving them out there dangling for no reason because they have stuff that I could use you know in my future endeavors so after you know all of that deliberation in my head what did I decide about who died well that's an interesting question and it happens to be this guy the guardian deity of the jungle, Shining Tiger. And if we were playing as my own house, known better as Neon Tigger. So, with me making fun of his actual American name and stuff, let's get to work. Ladies and gentlemen, Neon Tiger. One of the best songs in the game. Other than that, usually... I would be, I would probably around this time, even in my boss order, would be fighting him around this point. But I don't have his weakness, but, man, you know, he isn't that bad to take down. And Zero, nah, X is going to take the lead today because I'm going to need you later. You're, you're going to serve an important purpose. You already do because you're, you're the most super awesome guy in the world and stuff and, you know, stuff and things. So, so Zero, take a rest and, you know, I'll handle it. Now... A history lesson, if I may, is that when I first played Mega Man X3, the first time my mom ever rented it for me, was that this was the first stage I ever played. And then I was shown the true light of how awesome this song is. Because, yes, this song is awesome. And no, for the record, this is not inspired in any way by my Michelle by Guns N' Roses. I just wanted you to know that. I figured it was important. And, you know, while I've been sitting up here blabbing and talking, I got another subject. Because, you know, that's what we do on the show. We collect stuff. And now, my life has become a lot easier. Because I can now use two acid bursts to take care of that stuff. And, ooh, a wall that I can drill through. Sweet. And what do we get for drilling through this wall? Daddy! What's up, Prom? Oh, the, the capsules are blue again. You know, this is good. This is good. I'm down with this change. You know, blue capsules, you know, keep things, you know, you know, the way they should be. You know how I can keep up with and keep using them because, you know, too much confuses my head. But, you know, it's always good to see you. But I'm going to go ahead, step back. You can talk to the kids. Tell them what you got for me today. Fair enough? Cool, cool. Love you lot. Enter this capsule X. Take this X Buster upgrade. The upgrade will increase the strength of your charge shot. You'll be able to shoot two charge shots at once. If timed correctly, you can overlap the shots to create a single cross charge shot. The upgrade will also allow you to charge any special weapon, as they usually do. Thanks, Pop. And you know, for all of that wall busting and all of that fun stuff. What the hell? Did you guys just see that? My arm is freaking huge! Do you see this? My arm is freaking huge! What the hell? What the hell, man? What the hell? This thing is freaking humongous! Why is this thing freaking humongous, Pop? Lord. So, you know, enough about that. Welcome to Mini Boss Theater and today's featured actor, the Worm Seeker R. Your only goal is if you have the Frost Shield available, 
It puts Frost Shield in his face. Because, you know, it's what you can do to make the world a better place. And, you know, by putting Frost Shield in his face to make the world a better place, we are greeted with the awesome of the explosions and crackling Frost Shield fragments left everywhere and more energy for the Frost Shield and I'm probably going to be using it now or something. Okay. Lost control of play too? No, we still got it. Another ride on the thing. Still can't use it. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But it doesn't even serve a special purpose here. It's just there. It's just there to be there. Ooh, oh, trick shot. What? Give me the health back, damn it. Alrighty, what we got? Now, see, this is a normal boss door. You know, if we were a, a couple of more Mavericks in, we would be meeting our friend Bite here. But, you know, Bite not there yet, dog. So, you know, we'll see him, you know, at some point, maybe. Or maybe not, you know. Word, whatever, you know, stuff. Bite or come back. Something, something. Ooh, Dragonfly! Thank you, Mr. Dragonfly! And for, you know, cooperating with your nature, friend, we get another heart tank. So, X, at this moment, we would like to thank you for your, your tiring efforts to be the best you can. But let, let, let the real dude handle the bit. A zero. Let's get to work! Neon Tiger! There is really not a lot to this boss fight, X-Buster style. For the record, just so you know. He is weak. He, he is weak to the... What is that weapon? Oh, what is that weapon? Okay, let's, let's think. The spinning blade, which I don't have yet. But pretty much this is the boss fight with the Zero Buster. Shoot at this dude. Somebody dies at some point and, you know... And then he does that glowy thing. And that's it. This is the whole freaking boss fight. You shoot at him. At some point, Neon Tigger goes for nap nap. Booga! I really should have made a Winnie the Pooh joke there. E on my ass. Play my song. A hey, zero! Mission accomplished! And for destroying Neon Tigger. Being freaking awesome. And I didn't even have to use the Z Saber. We get the awesome power of the Ray Flasher. I mean the um a giant ass machine gun on our hand. But yeah, the Ray Flasher. The Ray Flasher is freaking awesome. You will be seeing me use it lot lot lot. So be used to hearing that spray sound cause it's going down and ladies and gentlemen with that Maverick numero cuatro down for the count something that I forgot at the beginning of my video is that I do it now better, better late than ever this video is dedicated to a special someone you special someone know exactly who you are you're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Yes, the song in this stage is freaking awesome. We, we mentioned that once, twice, three, four times. I'm like, something I usually don't get a chance to talk about is that the music in the, in the trilogy is like awesome. I listen to this music all the time. Like, you know, when it, when it comes to like favorite music in the series is that in later games, I don't really get a lot even though, you know, Lots of my favorite songs from the trilogy get crushed by, you know, by one song in Act 6, and that being from, who is that guy? Ground Scarabins. That music is awesome. It's so airy and stuff. But for, like, the trilogy, you know, my if, if I had to, like, condense it into the trilogy of, like, my favorite songs, it's, like, a top three would probably, you know, consist of not in any order. Probably, um, Spazzy McSpazzerton. Neon Tigger, you know, and more Neon Tigger, because, yeah, that song is the shit. Oh, and my other favorite song, 
We'll be getting to that in a couple of episodes. So I don't want to spoil what my other favorite song is, but yeah. Spazzy McSpazzy, Chick Neon Tiger, and another Maverick in this game has an awesome song. I, I listen to it all the time. It's like the song that we're going to get into later is one of my songs I sit and listen to. You know, I used to study to it. You know, I used to study my notes for school and stuff to that music song. Pretty freaking awesome. So, like I said, you know who, you know you out there. This whole Neon Tiger stage dedicated to you. Showing you that love. You know how we do. So, with that being said, I'm out of here. You know who I am. I am Triple the G-O-D. And, of course, this is your favorite YouTube show, Run That Waxing. <laughs> I'll holler at you guys next time, man. Peace out. <laughs>